Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about navicular fracture imaging. Navicular fracture along with cuboid fracture form the most common isolated mid-foot fractures. Navicular fractures are responsible for approximately 5 of all foot fractures and 35% of all mid-foot fractures. Medicine with pain, swelling, or hematoma directly over the midfoot. Stress fracture in athletic days and construction worker may present with vacuum pain and swelling over the midfoot, which wasn't with exercise. Patients generally have a normal range of motion and a normal neurovascular examination. The fracture occur via two main mechanisms. First one, chronic overuse injury causing the stress fracture often in athletes. Acute high energy trauma where the head of the talus impact the concavity of the navicular bone. The Saint Joseph classification is used to assess the severity of isolated navicular fracture and the determine management. Type 1, the fracture line is in the con coronal plan and there is no angulation of the full foot. Type 2, the fracture line is dorsal lateral to planta medium and the forefoot is middle space. Tie three, there is a commutative fracture in the such top line and the forefoot is displaced laterally. Plantar graph are the best initial test in a suspect Tip navicular fracture. Their sensitive or identifying navicular fracture is low. However, lateral and oblique radiograph provide the greatest chance of identifying a fracture, rarely fractures of an accessory navicular bone if present are also possible and may be visible. So this is an example of navicular fracture within the joint. And enlargement is no more. As you can see, it's a loosency line with a little bit more small fragmentation can find on the from the view, when you only look, you can see lucency line across the major aspect of the navicular. This is another case of navicular fracture. So, longitudinal fracture through the navicular, which is mildly destructive, but not this not of recency lesion in the calcaneus with pain central presentation. Yeah. So, is the lesion where we say? Recency with central classification. If this is an instant profiling, but obviously we can see the navicular fracture. So this obviously can be found clearly here.
and another case of the navicular puncture and linear lucency is noted on the major aspect of navicular bone. Sim appreciate the scene on the public view of the food in here. But in the frontal view, it's hard to see the fracture. But we can see some solutions on here. Just probably only, and we confirm on the object view. CT is more sensitive for identifying navicular fracture. It is also low for the assessment of the stance of the fracture line and the degree of com new commutation. So this is an example. We call navicular state fracture, which carry a black back in the game. In case of athletic person. And second example. So this is preoperative coronal CT image in A. So bilateral or supranavicular situated in osseous depressed of the dorsal cortex. In the life field, multiple bone cysts were observed and the cortex of the molecular bone in the bilateral feet. In the left feet, good multiple lucency and the sclerotic margin were noted. B, the ability sagittal. CT image of the left foot. So see the non straight and incomplete fracture line through the standing from those proximal contact to the center of the body. So this is navicular fracture. The another case of puncture the tomographic scans of the foot. So this is axial view reveal complete fracture of the navicular bone located more laterally than a typical. Incidental note decrease the navicular calcaneal. Uh, there's a coagulation. Coalition. MRI, T2 may demonstrate the area of the pentane over the fracture site in the carried bone in MRI. In suit, we note that MRI is more sensitive than CT, however, in identifying stress fracture. This is an example of non displaced. Probably fracture the negative bone in the MRI. Another example, fracture on through navicular bone associated with adjacent bone marrow edema or bruise, abnormal intrasubstance in fluid sigma and fiber discontinuity along the anterior third. Low fever like not related to ATFL partial sickness cheer. Treatment and prognosis. Non operative management consists of cast immobilization and non bridge bearing. Most undisplaced fracture can be unique conservative in the cast. Other indication for non-operative management include acute 
Device fracture, most velocity fracture, minimally displaced type of entire body fracture. Operative measurement may be the treatment machine or uh, OIF plus minus external fixation binder. Thank you.